If you have one of these old Motorola or Tell Labs uh, optical network terminals, Verizon Fios, the absolute best internet service available in the United States, bar none, um, you probably know that it has television, telephone, and of course internet. And, uh, you know, it was built back when they had these whole triple play services. And if you are got the older units, you've probably got one of these battery backup units that comes with it. And you also know that in the default configuration, you're only going to be able to get um, just a few minutes of internet out of it. It's designed to back up the telephone service for up to eight hours. Back in the old days when the telephone service ran on ATM and it was regulated as a utility. When they moved to delivering the service over IP, it was no longer regulated as a classic telephone service, so they stopped doing the battery backups because they didn't have to. Now, that leaves us, us cord cutters, or at least our phone and, and TV cord cutters, with this unit that can do battery backup for a long time, but it won't because it shuts off the internet after a few minutes. It's very easy to bypass this. What you're going to find is this cable here that connects the battery backup unit to the terminal itself. Now this plug normally goes in here, right? So let me get up close and I'll show you what I did. If you look, you can see very close in here, all of those signals, signal return, on battery, replace battery, battery message, low battery, just by a couple of uh, terminals and ground all those out. Okay, what's going to happen here then <clears throat> is that the terminal will not know when it's on battery. That's what you want, because if you don't have the television service and you don't have the phone service, which I don't, all you really want is to back up the internet service. So with those connections grounded out, you are able to simply use the battery power all the way until the battery dies. Now, I did one more thing, and I bought the connector. I bought a male fem connector and a female connector, and then I came out here to a terminal block, and from here, I'm splitting off both the positive and negative, so I can supply power to both my router and one of my access points. So by doing this, I've got a system that can provide uh, uninterrupted internet service, in a uh, power outage, or at least long enough for me to turn my generator on, for as long as that battery will last. It's a really neat hack. Uh, they don't do these kind of uh, battery backup systems anymore because they don't have to, but if you still got one of these systems, they run it up to a gigabit, and uh, you know what? Don't throw it away. Hack your battery backup.